<laughs> so hopefully, for our last speaker, Christine Castigliano, she's going to talk about In Praise of Spontaneous Spark, and I'm really hoping that she'll give us a little song, too. <laughs> All right, Christine. I gotta say, that was a tough act to follow. It was really tough. So do you think it's gonna work now, or should I fool around? Do you think? All right, I'm going to fool around. So my name's Christine, but I added an ah to the end to remind me to appreciate what's right here and right now. So if you can feel that ah right now, about what's happening right here, right now. Just say it with me, just take a breath and say, ah, doesn't that feel good? Yeah, just say, ah, yeah. So, hmm, I wish I knew a joke. I guess I could just say, ah, a little bit more. <laughs> wait, 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 we could say something else. We could pretend that we've just had a delicious Mango. Actually, no, that would be politically incorrect because they're not local. Um, a carrot, perhaps. A delicious carrot and a strawberry, yes, for this time of year, yes. So take a breath and say, mmm, mmm, life is sweet. Yeah, and sometimes we forget that. And oh, so if you've ever been disappointed, maybe once or twice, today, maybe, um, maybe in the last hour. Are we ready now? Okay. <laughs> well, let me just finish this. Say, say, wah. Wah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Any time then? All right. So my name is Christine, and I la 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 to sing spontaneously in the moment because it keeps me right here and right now. <laughs> but I was not always like that. For many years, I didn't sing at all. And I became really curious, why do we do this? Why do we stop ourselves from doing things that we really, really love? And I believe I have this little spark of the divine right here. And its job is to teach me to love, love, love. And that means to fall in love what I really love. But I've also got this ancient reptilian brain called the amygdala. And his job is to keep me staying alive, staying alive. But he does not have the best logic. And he can take a tiger for a tantrum. You know, they're the same to him. So I'm in my high chair singing, la, 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 my dad says, no singing at the table. And my spark says, wow, Mr. Lizard steps in to help. And he says, clearly singing is bad because look, it just got you into trouble. So I suggest that we're going to put a lid on that right now. And you better do what your daddy wants. Don't know about you, but I've been good and successful like my dad wanted for a long time. Then I'm in preschool singing, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shh. Teacher said, too loud. My spark said, well. Mr. Lizard said, I got this. He said, clearly, you didn't do it right. We gotta put a lid on that right now and she's not gonna like you unless you do it perfect. So I don't know about you, but I've been trying to be perfect ever since. And then in grade school, I'm out on the playground jumping around singing la, 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 la. And the kids gather around and they're laughing. And then they run off. And my spark says, well, Mr. Lizard steps in and he says, I told you to put a lid on that singing. You are way too weird and they are not gonna like you unless you learn to fit in. So I don't know about you, but I did a pretty good job of fitting in for quite a while. The only problem was that with all those lids and layers growing up all around my spark, I couldn't feel the love, love, love. And every time I'd open my mouth to sing, Mr. Lizard would say, ain't good enough, ain't perfect. And then 
when I turned 50 and several of my friends had died of cancer, I knew I had a choice. Did I want to keep on being good and perfect and fitting in? Or did I want to release my own unique, individual, and totally weird spark of the divine? <laughs> well, it did take a little bit of time for me to peel off those lids and layers and to really learn what they were and what, they, what the messages that they had for me. And the good news is that we can all learn how to do this. If there's something you really love and you find yourself being stopped by it, I can, I can teach you some of the skills and tools that I've learned that have helped me. And it's going to take, in particular, three skills. Courage. Yeah, because we've all got those demons and dragons that are hanging out at the edge of our safety zone, our comfort zone. And it takes courage to face them and to, uh, to be willing to, to notice them. And then it takes curiosity because you may want to um, ask them, so what are you here for? What are you doing? What's your job? And get to know them a little better. And especially some curiosity for what your own spark wants to say to you right, to listen to that. And finally, compassion. Those lids and layers and demons and dragons, they're all just trying to help, right, just like Mr. Lizard. So we can just know that it's all about the love, love, love. And you may not like to sing, but what you got to bring that makes your whole spark zing. Write that book, be a vegan cook, teach what you know, let something grow, go ahead and dance, just take a chance and whatever you you pick, I'll teach you the tricks because I want to see you shine. We all need to shine. Come on and, and sing it with me. You all are singing and shining already, but come on, we'll just do one simple note. Shine. Come on now, y'all already shine, but I want to see you shine some more. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs>